Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Sticky Ditch Nursery. We've got the long, long suffering Katie on camera. Say hello, Katie. Hello. And today we are talking about how to revive a cyclamen plant, an outdoor or maybe an indoor cyclamen plant that looks like it's not looking too good. Now, I post these things and I worry ever so much about how long they can last in the post for. So I wrapped three up, I left them in the envelope for two weeks. I then took them out of the envelope and unwrapped them and just left them on the side um, in the sun in an unheated greenhouse for another four weeks and look what we got. Katie, spin in. Now, while I was doing this, uh, here we go, look at this. We've still got flowers coming up on it and we're gonna, this will be okay. Now, this is a hedifolium bulb and so it's got a big old flat bare bottom like that and the roots come out around the side like this and then you have the flowers coming off the top. If you'd like to spin back, Katie. Um, while I was doing this and opening these up, you know, just to do this video now and pot them up again, we'll talk about that in a minute. I thought, what a fantastic opportunity, fantastic opportunity to show the different types of bulb that different varieties of cyclamen have. Now, if you're not a cyclamen nerd, you are really, really gonna struggle with this. And if you get to the end of the video, fair play. Katie is gonna struggle with this. Katie, spin in. Do you know what these stones are for? These no. stones are to throw at you if you start falling asleep. <laughs> Anyway, I'll kick those on the side. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna pot up this one. Now look, as you can see, it's dried out completely. We've still got nice roots going on it. We've still got fleshy growth on the top, you know? But even if you haven't got this, it's worth a go. Um, here's the other one. And as you can see, they're all hedifolium, so they've got this sort of round base to them, and then the roots come out the side. All the bulbs are different, and it's quite good, if they're not in flower or in leaf, to be able to identify what type of bulb you have. Um, just from the shape of the bulb itself. You know, we've got a few roots coming out of the bottom of that one, but as you can see, they're predominantly sort of an oval shape like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these up and they will come back to life. And in a few weeks, I'll do another video and show you how um, well they do. Don't chuck them in the bin. Anyway, I'm gonna pop them into a litre pot. I've got a litre pot here. I've got a cyclamen mix. Well, it's what I use. Now, if you don't know what it is, have a look at some of my other videos and um, I've uh, shown it. It's basically mainly topsoil and sand, which you can get out of your garden. Anyway, Katie's spinning. So we're just gonna fill the pot up like that, see? And give them a bit of a tap down. And I'm just gonna pop this corm here, like that, with the brown side down. Just gonna pop him on top like that. I'm not going to worry too much about burying any flowers or anything at the moment. And I'm just going to fill that out like that around the edges. There we go. And that's it. I'm going to do that with these other two. And uh, we're going to give them a bit of water, put them in a shady place for a bit so that they can start to restructure their roots and come back to life and start feeding. And we'll, we should get some good plants out of that. So don't chuck them in the bin. Now, this is the bit that if you're not interested, you might as well just turn off. <laughs> right. Now. There are many different varieties of cyclamen. They all originated from around the Mediterranean Sea and nowhere else in the world. They've spread out a lot more now, now that we've been moving them all around the place. Um, and there are about 20 odd different varieties. They um, flower at different times of the year. Uh, they put up leaf at different times of the year. So they're, they've sort of, um, oh, what's the word? Evolved in separate little isolated locations, and so they're slightly different from each other. And so anyway, let's have a look at the bulbs. Now this one here is a cyclamen coen. This is a variety um, that's spelt like that. Yep. And uh, these flower in winter. These, the leaves come up now, we're in October in the UK at the moment, and these flower now. And I'll show you what the bulb looks like, because I'm gonna be potting this up. Now ideally, when you do pot up these plants, you do not want to disturb the roots too much. Um, but if you do, it doesn't, it, it, it will take a bit, it won't kill it. It won't kill it, that's all I'm trying to say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly tease that out of there so we can actually get down to the size and the shape of this corn and where the roots are. Oh, I've lost a leaf there. But there we go. And you can see it's sort of a, quite a dumpy round sort of structure with all the roots coming straight out the bottom as opposed to the head of folium. So that's it. So that's our coem there with these lovely leaves on it. I'm gonna be potting all these up in a minute. I'm not going to bore you any more than that. Um, right then, so here we have a head of folium. Look at that beautiful, beautiful plant. And you can see all the pollens coming out of the flowers now. Can we see that, Katie? I think it's going on the leaves. But anyway, let's pop this one open. And this is a hedifolium, which is spelt like that. Okay? Now these ones flower late summer to 
early autumn. So we've still got this in flower at the moment. Then they ch chuck out their leaves and you get a lovely, lovely display of leaves. The leaves are so varied, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Each individual plant has a different shaped leaf. And here we are, look. So with this one, we've got the, we've got the bare bottom to it and the roots coming around the side. And the corm is quite flat and sort of oval in shape. And these will grow big. Bearing in mind, these plants usually grow, well, they can grow to 80, 100 years old. And that could grow big. That could grow to something like that. So that's our hedifolium. There. Right then. Oh, are you still with this? Are you still with this? Do you reckon people have turned, how many people have turned off, do you reckon, by now, Kay? Half of them? I don't know. You don't know, you don't. <laughs> anyway, right, let's carry on. Oh, there'll be some nerd out there who'll be loving this. We've got the silicium. Now, silicium also flower in late summer, early autumn, and the smell from them is absolutely intoxicating. It's delightful. Katie's spinning. Look, this is how it's spelt. Silicium. There we go. And let's pop this out, because this is an unusual corm in itself as well, and easy to identify. So if I break all this... Now, these plants are going to take a bit of time to catch up once I've done this, but... So there we go, so your silicium bulb, corn, sorry, um, has got the roots coming out the side. Can you see that? Is that a good picture, Katie? I think it shows it. Yeah, wait a minute, let me put it down like this. See, they don't come out the bottom like a coem. They come out sort of to the side, like this, in a big old clump. Very different to the hedifolium. So that's our silicium. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost there. Right, now we have the Graycum. Here's a Graycum, Casey's spinning. They're in flower at the moment. Look at that beautiful plant. Look at that. And the flower just are beginning to unfurl. Okay, can you get a close up on that in focus? Look at them, they're like little umbrellas. Beautiful plants. These come from Greece. Um, they're a little bit more tender than the Hedifolium, the Silicium, and the Coem. So if you put them outside in the UK, um, I don't know what the zoning is off the top of my head in America, I'm so sorry, but um, in the UK, they'll, they'll probably be all right in the south, but you want to keep them in an unheated greenhouse. And anyway, where's our Graycomb? Here's our Graycomb here. And let's have a look at this, because this is also a very unique shaped corm. I'll pop them out. Now, Graycomb have a long root. So if you, once they get quite large and you're planting them in pots, you want to, see that one's sort of not happy with how narrow that pot is. You want to plant them in something quite large. In fact, I've got, wait a minute, Katie, can you just keep her thing a minute? Look, here we go. <coughs> I've got a grape in a grape and pot. There we are. But as you can see, these are my sort of shoes, if I ever <laughs> overcome my agoraphobia and do a show. Um, but yeah, you see, a grape and pot has got quite a long base to it, um, and this is to accommodate this long root. And here we are, Katie, spinning. And once you... You can sort of see it's got a, quite a big fleshy root coming out of the bottom there. See that? Yeah. And the corm itself isn't as smooth as the other ones. It's really quite sort of raggedy like that. So that one there is a Graycomb. And then finally, finally, um, we have the Persicum. Now, Cyclum and Persicum are the variety that all of the house plants are bred from. Um, it comes from sort of Turkey, sort of more, well, it's called Persicum because it's Persia, I think, that that's the idea of where it was coming from. Uh, but this is a tender plant, this does not like the frost. And anyway, I'll show you what the bulb of this one looks like, or the corm, or I don't know what to call them, I really should uh, be a bit more. So they're quite large, and they're very smooth around the outside, can you see that? Ever so smooth, with a lot of roots sort of coming out from the whole of the base. Not one just particular point, it's actually coming out from the whole of the base there, like that. And there we go, and that's your persicum. Persicum. So I'm going to be potting those up now into bigger pots, and uh, they'll take a little bit of time to re-establish themselves, but, but there we go. Cyclum and bulbs, um, what more can I say? If you made it to the end of this video, well done. This has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Katie on camera, and she made it to the end. I didn't need my stones. Um, just showing you what different cyclamen bulbs look like so you can identify them if there's no top growth.